Hi everyone, welcome back to our tutorial slash let's play of Stellaris the One Planet Strategy. We've been playing the game for just about 20 years, I just realized. And let's get back right in. So we did have uh, some new Frontier Outpost on that side of System the map. Survey concluded. And that looking, that's looking Anomaly pretty good at and the moment. Um, what do we have? That guy has finished, so there's one more system E can observe here, and then we might just want to survey these three, just like that. Um, obviously this one we cannot go yet. So I was thinking a little bit offline about what, what would be the next steps. We do have a lot of energy credits, and we are making a large number of minerals, so I was thinking, would it be worse? getting more construction ship and you know speed out the building of all these minings and research stations but then I realized if I do that I might not gain any more energy credits or even though I might get a lot from there um, so my thinking was that I should probably wait a little bit replenish in terms of energy as much as I can anyway I already have four construction ship and then I should also prepare for my next outpost, uh, I, I do have a monthly gain or influence of 1.4, which means I can probably get another extra one probably here. So that's where we're going to expand to. We could also expand in that direction, but I fear there's not enough you know, systems in, in there. And also these guys are probably not going to like the border friction there. So it's I think if for me it's much better to go here. Um, if I'm correct, the Rufari guys are pretty friendly with me. Yeah. No, they're not, but they're not hating us. Okay, so the Rufari protectors are a uh, overwhelming power, so I really need to be careful with them. The Shinor guys, though, they are the guys that likes us, so it wouldn't be a problem to know, you know, to have border friction with them. I should say, not a problem to go here. What would be good is getting rid of these guys, so we can access this part of the map as well later on, but I probably can wait. I probably don't want to have too much upkeep because of our uh, naval anyway, we're pretty weak at the moment. Well, I think let's just continue, build as much as we can and see where we are in terms of energy. It'd be good to be uh, you know, friends with, with these guys, for example. They really like us, so... Um, yeah, we already have the trade agreement with them, but I'm wondering if they would be happy for some energy trading and they're not so that's fine uh, so we do have the merchant guide as well which means we could be potentially trade minerals for energy and I think because of that uh, where are these guys here I think because of that I'm gonna build why can I build more minerals here yeah, let's just wait for that I think I'm gonna get an extra build construction ship and an extra science ship and the reason for the science ship is I should have yeah I did finish assist research technology so I'm gonna do assist research there which should grant me more unity um, that being said that being said we need a new outpost uh, minor mandate fulfilled great that means extra influence so it means well actually quite a lot of influence it means we can recruit a new scientist we are nine out of twelve so we are not limited on that um research plus five yeah no no one is really great there um i'm gonna pick one who's young in this case younger than the other one just recruiting her right now and that is finished and we don't have control over this system yet but we do have control over this one we can build a mining station here and we're gonna get busy we can have a lot of you know ship out a small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Machek 2 it appears to be an engine survey ma marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for apparently never arrived as the deposit is still here. We already had this even before. Really sounds familiar. Okay, so we do have our construction ship finished here. 
and that guy is just gonna, you know, build all of that. So unfortunately, we don't have much minerals there. Um, but I would actually prefer to start with society research. Receiving transmission. Okay, look at that. Uh, they want star charts, of course. We're gonna agree with that. Um, wow, look at that. Cool galaxy, isn't it? Construction project complete. Okay, so now we have that guy. And that guy we can assign him, and we should be able to go here and do assist research. Okay, what's going on? Do we need to do it on the planet itself? Yes. I like that we should get more unity. And actually, I should probably swap... swap... swap that leader for another leader. Um, so who would be good? This guy is level 5, but he's busy doing some research. I think I'm gonna swap with... with her level 2 on me. It's a shame. Anyone good with survey? Survey speed? Yeah, you. So you're assisting research, so maybe it's not the wisest. Okay, let's leave it like that for now. We're making 20... 20 unity for now. Um... Okay, no, not wise. Let's let's see what the exile is up to. So the exile is leading that ship, and you're you finished your research. Okay, I can definitely switch you with um, the last guy I got. You, just like that. System survey concluded. Just like that, we should be able to... Assist research, and yeah, that's research it. Plus 28 completed. unity, that's much better. Um, so where is the hostile fleet? It's quite far away. Okay, ancient mining drones. Ooh. Don't want to touch these guys. And we've... Research colonial centralization, that's great because we can now get planetary capital. So what are we going to research next? Um, epigenet epigenetic triggers for uplift, that's going to be good, but we're not going to do any genetic modification. The hydroponic farm range is a cheap one, um, we're doing alright in terms of food, so it's not really needed. Galactic ambitions, though, we're going to need that. Obviously, border range plus 20%, great to, you know, have more systems within our border where we can build stations. Hypercom's forum will be great. Um, and, you know, plus 6 unity output, I think I'm probably going to go with that right now. It's a very long one, but getting that early on will, will, will mean a lot of extra unity for me. So let's, let's go with that. I know the border range will be back, and anyway, we've got tons of stuff to build. How long is that going to take? Um, only three years, wow. It's pretty fast, so I'm pretty glad about that. Construction project concluded. And talking about it, um, so now on the surface, we should be able to build... Uh, oh yeah, we don't have it yet. No, the planetary thingy. Uh, 1.6, wow. Okay, we definitely want that right now. So we're gonna do that, uh, 86 minerals. We're not gonna upgrade that because we're not gonna use this. We're only gonna do energy for now, as well as um, unity in this planet. And hopefully soon enough we'll be able to have a new population. Um, we cannot really build because of population, really. Anyway, so that case O oh, is done. So where are my construction ships? Just so that I don't do things in the wrong order. Got one here. Got another one here. 
that's a science ship as well as this one so that's good they are surveying for my next outpost frontier outpost um so i've got one two three and then the fourth one i think is here and the fifth one is there okay so one on raganus to just have barely enough to build anything else and you you're gonna go and grab this let's wait until the month's ends that oh yeah it's still missing a few. okay wait 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 Research okay, so now we can do that. So we can research that anomaly. That guy is finished. Uh, he won't have enough. So I just move here. And we've got the defense stations. So defense stations... Okay, we'll have to think about when we build them and where we build them. But it's going to be very important. Um, nanomechanics, and so we talked about this one before, not really interesting. That one, useful, but not for now. Mass drivers, pretty useful for ship as well, or deep core mining, that's not that useful. What's more important is droids. Droids is on the path to synthetics. That's the type of pollution we want, so we're going to go with that. Um, but now, my thinking is that, wow, look at that output, that's so cool. Now, my thinking is... Oh, encountering Zimbok. Um, proceed with caution. Okay, we do have a new special project, do we? Oh, no, we, we've, got, we've got these guys. Do we want to do that? Probably not yet. Do we want to do that in three months? Yeah, I think we can afford to do that. Um, okay, that we can't do yet. Yeah, that's over. And we're lacking the minerals to do anything here. And okay, now we can. Now with that guy, we cannot do anything. Lacking one. Okay. Let's just wait. Um, one of the many moons circling Saldar 3 has a terminal orbit. It will soon collide with the gas giant in what is sure to become a massive impact event. This event has been millions of years in the making, and it is a startling coincidence that the impact has been fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Many of our scientists wish to observe and recall the event, but we only have a narrow window before it is too late. Okay, that definitely is something we can do. Um, okay, you don't have enough money. You do have enough money. And you definitely are going to build something in a few days. Special project concluded. Okay, stop that. Um, so which one is in Soval? You are in Soval and you're going to build first mining station uh, so that has a time out of 708 days where is that go to soldar okay, it's not too far and we've got someone level four i think we can do the research research here okay that's good uh, the crystalline entity is the name it's a compromise between rival factions as xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Roshar are probably alive. Ooh. An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was Silicate Animate Matter. As they have little in common with biological life, they are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a small cohort entity. Aside from the court and the sentinel, and sentinel clearly being subservient, to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost, lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an early 
hypothesis, the shifts in you between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed. It appears as if those sporadic fluctuation in this charge alter the, the refractive properties of the crystal. Wow, that was quite a long test about the crystalline entities. So that means add the crystal sonar modifier to our empire, spend 30 energy to instantly survey any crystalline entity system when entered. Well, that would be pretty much very worth it. Okay, so you still gonna have to wait one more turn before you can build anything like that. Uh, a trade deal has expired between us and the Teast Aid War. Okay. And so let's go and talk to these guys. Probably still do not like us much. But we can make them friends. We're pretty friends with all of these guys, which is good. Um, maybe it's time to do a bit more diplomacy. So these guys... We're going to do a research agreement. They obviously do not want a research agreement. They won't agree to a monthly transfer. But they will agree to give me some minerals. So let's do that. Um, then we have a trade agreement with us. Something with us. Something with us something with us. These guys don't have anything with us, so might, we might want to talk to them, even though they don't really like us. Um, and it would be good to please these guys a bit more. Who are the, ba the biggest you know, the biggest threats to us? The Rufari Protectors. Maybe these guys, but we don't want to expand in their direction. The Rufari Protectors, where are they? Here. Should we just give them something? Declare rivalry. No. Insult. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, let's give them... You know, a flat... Ah, oh, we only have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't can give them that. We can give them a bit, bit of food. Yeah, I'm not sure they're gonna like it like that. Let's just give them that. Trade deal offer. They accept. It's good. And this guy accept the tribute. Here we do have an anomaly result. So, a great battle between the Grand Navy of the First League and another fleet took place not far from here some two million years ago. The gravity well of Tirsonia one has since captured much of the debris left by this engagement and the wreckage of several massive hulls can be found on the planet's surface. Here we've got another special project. Uh, where is that? Great. Okay. Go to this one. Definitely a project I want to do. We're gonna do control shift research project. Did it work? Yeah, okay. Construction project concluded. Okay, you're finished, so you don't have anything to build in the area, eh? At least not yet. Let's go and build that. Um on the surface, surface, we have nothing else to build, just to double check. Yep. Military Academy. Just checking my specific, uh, my special uh, buildings. Encounter in and in the Aleph Aliens. Okay, so we probably don't want to spend any society points until we get the uh, local hyper communication. That's pretty useful for us. Five more months before we end this this one. Um, Construction project concluded. Do we have any special project no, that needs physics? No, we don't. 
Um, so you're here. Where are you going to go next? Probably there. We could build the next frontier outpost pretty soon. We don't need to save because we're making so much money anyway. I mean, so much minerals. System survey concluded. Special project concluded. Okay, so we finished a special project. That's that one here. Okay. We were successful in our attempt to record the collision between Soldar 3 and its moon. The event was captured from several different angles and transmitted live throughout our space. Most importantly, our scientists under the leadership of Darmu were able to record a large amount of valuable physics data that will surely benefit our research. Okay. That's good for that guy, and that's good for our physics research. Construction project. So let's completed. let's pause that for one second. So we've got uh, we've got an anomaly here. Surely you can uh, research. Ah, oh, that, that that's another one. Okay, you okay, you should survey that. Okay, and in Reganus we finally build that. Uh, so we've got that guy. That's the sign ship. Where's the other construction ship? Okay, here. That is a bit weird. Um, so he's probably going to take care of that, which means I can move that guy in here. System survey concluded. Okay, communication established with the Regan Commerce Exchange. Okay, that's good. Another. Um, I would say Enclave, another special faction. I speak on behalf of the Regan Commerce Exchange. We have facilitated trade negotiation between interested parties on our star base on the, in the Zimpok system for more than a thousand of your years. If you happen to possess more minerals or energies than you need, you, we are more than willing to take it all off your hands, where you will be duly compensated, of course. Um, okay, so let's. That guy has finished here. And that guy is here. We can just send him to survey these ones. Then, factions, 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 factions. So, what's the difference between the trader, the merchant guy, the merchant guy, guild? Xenophile and materialist, and these guys. We would like to trade some minerals. We would like to trade energy credits. Seem pretty identical to me. Maybe they are. Creator. Yeah, they're both trader and clay. Okay, it's good to know. Hmm. I don't think we need anything else right now. We really want to, you know, build as many mines as we can. Construction project concluded. Wait. Thinking reform government. Influence coast. We don't have any more civics to get. So later on we'll definitely want to get which ones? Synthetic evolution, no. Parliamentary system, faction influence gain. So that, we, we're definitely going to need that one. But that's when we're going to get an extra civic, which I think we get from our ascension. Uh, which one would it be? Probably the one below. Gene modification, the flesh is weak, no synthetic evolution, no mind over matter, no transcendence, word shaper, no tactic force prediction, yes we want it, but that's not the one we need. Um, master builders, no. I think I'm confused between research and the Ascension perks. There's probably one research that we'll need 
that will allow us to get the parliamentary system. So, uh, what do we want to build here? Well, let's just wait and build. Research concluded. Let's just wait and build all these mining stations. That should give us an extra four energy. Archaeological project completed. Ar archaeology stuff successfully excavated several starship hulls on the surface of Tier Zonia 1, relics from the massive space battle that took place in this system two million years ago. The forces involved were the second and third fleet of the First League Grand Navy, fighting to contain an incursion by the combined fleets of the Rikim, the nomadic warrior species from the Galactic Rim. What well, began as a minor skirmish quickly escalated into a running fleet battle involving hundreds of ships on both sides. It is impossible to tell which side won. Okay, and that's another artifact from the First League. Um, so you have. Oops, oops. You have finished that. Um, what are these guys? Okay, I think we're gonna continue. And then you can go here. And then we'll see. Non aggression pact invitation between these guys. And actually, let me double check who likes us better. These two guys are plus 27. So they don't want a non aggression pact. What about them giving me a bit of minerals? No. Nope. And what about the Gaian Pride giving me some minerals again? Yeah. Four, five, six. I mean, six per six per month would be nice. Um, I don't think an instant transfer will do it. It will be... It will like 12 minerals for 6 energy. It's quite a lot. Still gonna do it. Cold fusion power. Great. So that's, as I said, a requirement for zero point power. Which is a prerequisite of... Um, the Mega Engineering, so map the stars, it's an edict, we're not going to do edict because it costs influence. Automatic exploration, we don't really need automatic wine. Hyperdrive, we have identified the existence of pointy space where a ship expends less energy to breach their way into an hyperlane, so might be useful. Planet sensor range, that's a cheap one, so might something might be something we want. Then the improved deflectors for planet fortification toughness. Um, and the power plant level 3. Uh, that could be nice, I mean, in the short term. I'm gonna pick that. So, yeah. That's finally that. Uh, everybody is busy. Yeah. And probably agreed on the trade. Yeah. So that's good. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Joinum 2A experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Pandag the Wise. This rare event has interchanged the position of the moon's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Again, some more physics research. That's all good for us. Um, what should we do with that guy? Uh, we should probably survey here. Oh. oh yeah, there's no way around it. So let's just go and start by survey here. There, there, and there. Leader has gained a level, yeah, it's fine. Construction project concluded. Okay, you've finished. Communications established. So we are receiving a transmission from the Vil 
P reuse unity. We appear to have a successful transistor of their language. They are a hive mind. Hopefully they're gonna like us. Um, let's just send them that. So where are they? Here. Non-aggression fight with an unidentified empire. Where are they? They are over there, quite far away, really. So let's offer them a trade deal. So that they like us as long as possible. Do they want to give us a bit of energy? Look at that. Perfect. Oh, hello. That's my favorite, guys. We apologize, patron listing. We have sadly reached something of a creative roadblock. The enclave is in disarray and we have nothing to offer this time. We thank you for your patronage as always. We hope the situation improves. We demand a refund. Um, nope. Just stay with these guys. I don't want them to hate me. Uh, we find it sound. That's great. We're getting a lot of energy still. This is all good. I think... Would it be time to get a non-aggression back? Nope. These guys really hate us. They are equivalent to us. I'm wondering if we declare them as a rival. Give us extra influence per month. Yeah. Where are they located though? The Iferix Amalgating Fleet. Yeah, they're probably too close to us for me to declare them as rivals. I think. And I think on that note, we're going to end this episode. Well, thank you all for watching it. I hope to see you pretty soon. We're looking good. I think we've made a lot of progress in, for example, our Unity research. As you can see, it's over in one month. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.